proximal it dislocation of limb electrodes is recommended in a number of cases as outlined in the methodological guidelines for recording resting ECG in the 12 standard leads of the Russian Society of Cardiology published in 2023 in the Russian Cardiology Journal. There are several methods of dislocation recommended in this journal. These include the mason liker electrode placement, the Hahn method, and the so-called LAN scheme. In adult practice, the most common reason for the bone proximal dislocation of electrodes is limb tremor. It is known that tremor is more pronounced in the distal parts of the limbs. Accordingly, moving the electrodes from the wrists and ankles higher up significantly reduces tremor and improves recording quality without the use of filters. For proximal dislocation of electrodes, when using reusable electrodes, it is most convenient to use the same chest suction cups as for all the others. Accordingly, we place them according to the Mason-Liker scheme. Above, the iliac crest. Accordingly, the green electrode is on the left, the black electrode on the right, just as in a standard recording. And we move the electrodes from the lower third of the forearm under the clavicle into the fossa. Accordingly, it is easy to apply spray to the skin here. Accordingly, the red is on the right, the yellow on the left. For proximal dislocation of electrodes, according to Kahn, the electrodes from the forearms are moved to the shoulders on the outer surface under the deltoid muscle. Accordingly, the yellow electrode is placed on the left arm, the red electrode on the right arm, and the electrodes from the shins are moved to the front surface of the abdominal wall, seven and a half centimeters below the navel in adults and symmetrically on the left and right at a distance of approximately five to seven centimeters from the midline. Accordingly, the green electrode is placed as it should be on the left. The black one as it should be on the right. Let's assume our patient has a pronounced tremor of the limbs. We want to use the Lund scheme for ECG recording with disposable electrodes. For this, we move the electrodes the, from the forearms above the protruding parts of the humeral bones. And from the legs, they should be moved above the trochanters, the greater trochanters of the tibial bones. But in this case, to avoid exposing the patient, we will place disposable electrodes above the iliac crests. Accordingly, again using the advantages of grabber type clips, we attach the electrodes. We assume that the skin is already prepared and we move the clips to the corresponding points, one and two. With the leg electrodes, I do it somewhat the opposite way. I first connect the electrodes and then I attach them. I will repeat that ideally when positioned according to the LAN scheme. The electrodes should be placed lower at the level of the greater trochanters hunters of the tibia. The installation of chest electrodes is no different from the traditional ECG recording. As we can see, all three demonstrated dislocation options differ somewhat in the placement of electrodes on the limbs and the torso. And they differ only in terms of which is more convenient to use in a particular clinical situation, depending on how the respective medical organization is accustomed to working.